Want to learn about an animal stranger than most science fiction aliens? Meet the sponge. Not the sponges we use to clean our kitchens, those aren't even real sponges. Cleaning sponges today are typically made from cellulose or plastic. Real sponges are living creatures. Cleaning and bath sponges were originally made from their flexible protein skeletons. Real sponges are simple aquatic animals. Their bodies are like balloons full of jelly. The balloon is made of layers of cells. Other cells inhabit the jelly and produce its skeleton. It might be strange to think of a sponge as an animal, because they're anchored in place and don't move. But really, only adults are mostly stationary. Their larvae move by swimming or crawling. Plants feed by capturing solar energy in the process of photosynthesis. Sponges can't do this, although a few species host cyanobacteria that can. Since they can't move or photosynthesize, sponges pump water through the hollow canals of their porous bodies, using microscopic beating hairs on special collar cells lining the canals. The flow carries particles of food, and oxygen too, into the sponge to be captured by its cells. And like other animals, sponges produce sperm which can fertilize egg cells in another individual. But, each sponge can function as both a male and a female. Types of natural sponges and their reproduction. Sponges reproduce both asexually and sexually. Most species that use sexual reproduction release sperm cells into the water to fertilize over that and some species are released and in others are retained by the mother. The fertilized eggs develop into larvae, which swim off in search of places to settle. Types of natural sea sponge. Types of sea sponges. Sponges may look like plant life, but they are actually animals. These sea bottom dwellers are very simple multicellular creatures. There are various types of sea sponges found on reefs and deep sea bottoms. Some are loners, while others grow in colonies. They have a very wide range of sizes, shapes and colors. Tube sponge. The tube sponge, Callispungi evaginalis, attaches itself to a reef, which is where it makes its home. This type of sponge is one of the most recognized of all sea sponges because of its tubular shape. It can be very colorful with hues of purple, green, gray or blue. The tube acts like a filter, taking in water from one end and ejecting it out the other. It extracts nutriments out of the water that it filters. Vase sponge. The vase sponge, Ericinia campana, resembles a bell in shape. This type of sponge makes its home in the waters of the Caribbean and off the eastern coast of Florida. It attaches to rocks on the sandy bottom of the ocean. The vase sponge can grow to 3 feet high and be as wide as 2 feet. The colors of this sponge are hues of red, brown and purple. Yellow sponge. The yellow sponge, Cleona salata, makes its home in the Pacific coastal waters of the United States. This type of sponge is not a loner and usually grows in small colonies. It gets its name from its appearance of bright yellow as a predominant feature. It also has hues of orange throughout. This sea sponge is tiny and can be found on a reef encrusting the rocks. Bright Red Tree Sponge The Bright Red Tree Sponge, Haliclona compressa, lives in the Caribbean. This type of sponge makes a good pet for your home aquarium. It is relatively small and does not grow much bigger than 8 inches in height. Its color is generally in hues of red. This species will require a moderate flow of water and dim lighting if it is going to live out of its natural habitat. Painted Tunicate Sponge The Painted Tunicate, Clavelina picta, is a type of sponge that gets its nutrients from the water that it takes and then ejects. Painted Tunicates are another type of sponge that grows in colonies. They are very small, growing to only about 3 quarters inch long. They are translucent in color with red, yellow and purple hues. Sea Squirt Sponge The common sea squirt, Diademnum maillé, is another type of sea sponge that is a reef dweller. It makes its home on rocks forming a crust around them. It is usually found in deeper water and grows in large colonies. This type of sponge has a leather look to it. It is bag shaped and has a spotted exterior and is bright green inside. You will sometimes see these growing on rocks in an aquarium.
be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. 